right, Shalom, all praise, honor, and glory is due to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the head of apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Also want to say Shalom, much due honors and respect to all your brothers continuing to labor in this work, pushing out this gospel in all true faith and sincerity. Yeah, so I just wanted to go into another quick lesson, dealing with the fact that the more you advance in this truth, the more you're going to be plagued with demons, all right? The more spiritually invested you become, the more you're going to be attacked and plagued by um, all sorts of demons, all right, from the lowest level <clears throat> to the highest level of demons, whether it's in your thoughts, in your dreams, externally or internally. And that statement I made is pretty much a stumbling block to um, you know these so-called born-againers and Christians and those who subscribe to the Baptist Church doctrine because they believe that the closer you become with uh, the Heavenly Father, the more the demons flee away. But that's not the case, all right? <clears throat> and um, to support that, I'm going to start off in the book of Job, chapter 1, and start at verse 14. And there came a messenger unto Job and said, The oxen were plowing and the asses feeding beside them, and the Sabians fell upon them and took them away. Yea, they have slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The fire of the Most High is fallen from heaven, and have burned up the sheep and the servants, and consumed them, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, The Chaldeans made out three bands, and fell upon the camels, and have carried them away, yea, and slain the servants with the edge of the sword, and I only am escaped alone to tell thee. While he was yet speaking, there came also another and said, Thy sons and thy daughters were eating and drinking wine in their eldest brother's house. And behold, there came a great wind from the wilderness, and smote the four corners of the house, and it fell upon the young men, and they are dead. And I only am escaped alone to tell thee. Right? So you see all the misfortune that came upon Job in this one brief moment. While one person was telling him of the trouble and tribulation that had came, another person cut him off and gave him more bad news and so on and so forth. Now, what was the main reason for all this happening to Job? Well, let's jump up to the eighth verse and find out. And the Lord said unto Satan, Has thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and upright man, one that feareth the Most High and eschewed evil? Right. So Job was a righteous man. That's the reason why he caught all that hell. That's the reason why he was plagued with all these demons. And not just ordinary demons, but the highest level of demons on the left-hand side the spiritual being Satan himself. All this was done because Job was a righteous man. And it's no different than what we go through here at Great Millstone. All right? Because the more wisdom you get, the more you're going to be plagued and attacked by demons. For an example, when you got a kid, all right, they're a toddler, three, four, five, six year old, you know, they haven't been open to the ills of the world. All they know is fun and games, having a good time. But when they grow into puberty, you know, and they become of age, they get their heart broke for the first time, then the tables are turned. And it's no different than being in this truth. The higher you go up on certain levels, the more you're going to be attacked by demons. All right? This is the book of um, Romans, chapter 8. And starting at verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, all right, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of the Most High, which is in Hamashiach, Yahweh Shah, our Lord. Right, so um, the Apostle Paul speaking, he said nothing can separate us from the Lord. And some of the things he mentioned was principalities or angels, all right, or powers, which means these things uh, 
come along with the territory. Being plagued with high-level demons, you know, in your sleep, you having weird dreams. If you're alone in the house, you feel a presence with you, all right? You see shadowy figures. Some brothers see visions, you know? These are the things that come along with being in this truth, which are set up to uh, sift you, man. That's why it has been a lot of men who have henceforth fallen out of the truth because they began to be plagued in their mind, all right? They couldn't handle the crown. Hey, it's even a saying in the world, heavy is the head that wears the crown, man. Because in reality, we already have the crown. That's why Yahweh Shah said, let no man take your crown. Because the crown is this knowledge, and it's heavy on your head, man. All right? You deal with all sorts of things that the average person don't deal with. Because you got people out there who pretty much deal with you know, similar things. But it's almost like they um, under the knife with anesthesia. We under the knife with no anesthesia, man. These people out here is numb to what's going on, all right? Which With much wisdom come much sorrow. So by us knowing what, what's going on, that adds a certain level of um, um, tribulation to it, man. You know, a certain level of trouble that the average person can't comprehend. All right, that fear, you sitting around, you praying that the most high won't let the roof drop in on you, man. All right, these are certain things that's that uh, cross that you got to carry. And the men here at Great Millstone, starting with the apostles, are plagued with demons that you people couldn't even deal with. All right? Thoughts in the mind. These things is a reality. That's why this... Being in his knowledge is only reserved for a certain few. All right? This is the book of Luke, um, chapter 22, verse 31. And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, behold, Satan have desired to have you that he may sift you as wheat. Right? So what was the purpose of Satan desiring, all right, to uh, have Peter? Because Peter was a righteous man in the eyes of the heavenly father. He was the one who the Lord set up for the church to be built upon. This very church that you see today, it was built upon uh, Peter, all right? So Satan desired to have him, not because Peter was wicked. Satan is not going to um, go after, go hard body after these niggas in the world, man, or these niggas in the black conscious community or Islam or the Moors, so-called Christianity, Baptist church doctrine. Satan is not going to go hard after them because they already been conquered. The men that Satan is going after is the men who are righteous and fear for the most high, just like Job. But you know the good news about it? Let's read on. Verse 32, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. Yeah, and that's the whole point. Faith, man. That's what this, goal, this is what this thing goes into. That's why the scriptures tell you to shield the faith so you can block those fiery dots, darts. From Satan, because we're going to be plagued with demons all all the time, man. This thing don't, never let up. And they and they come in hard body, man, as we move close to the end. And I'm pretty sure I can attest to all the brothers, man. They feeling the, these demons, man. They feeling it, all right? Because we see that crown getting close. So I say, but I have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not. And when thou art converted, strengthen thy brethren. And you see... That even in these times, all right, the apostles tell stories what they've been through. You got brothers in the camp that catch hell, higher brothers who caught a lot of hell than others, and they share those stories and they strengthen you. You look at the brother like, damn, man, bro, made it through. Shit, let me make it, you know, let me keep pushing, all right? That's the whole thing about it. Those men who Yahweh Shah have uh, sealed, you know, who the Heavenly Father given him, he prayed for us, just like he prayed for Peter, and Peter was able to overcome that, all right? This is the book of uh, St. John, chapter 17, and verse 9. I pray for them, I pray not for the world, but for them which thou hast given me, for they are thine. That's right. So we belong to the Heavenly Father. So Yahweh Shah prayed for us, man. So yeah, we're going to be plagued with these demons, and we're going to have thoughts, you're going to have doubts at times, that demon of doubt, 
You know, you're going to um, fall short at times. You might, um, an old habit might come to your mind, you know. You might fall weak to certain things that, that you know, that's not beneficial for you in this truth. But you got to keep pushing, man. The scriptures say a righteous man fall of seven times, which means completion. You're going to always fall in this truth. But the point is you got to get back up, man. All right? You got to fight. And you got to fight off these demons. That's why we got the shield of uh, faith, the helmet of salvation, the breastplate of righteousness. All right? We, we got the armory. The Lord equipped us, man. Yahweh Shah equipped us with all these things, man. You got to utilize it and fight, all right? So, uh, yeah, I hope this was a comforting video, um, edifying video. Till the next time I say, Shalom. <laughs>